Hey, welcome to this episode of Profitology. I am your guest, your friend, your CFO, Perry Jeffries. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, super excited about this particular uh, um, uh, segment here uh, as we're going to discuss how to diversify your income, how to diversify your income. So if you've been following us, uh, you know that we've been doing a COVID-19 uh, survival kit series, and this is episode 19, I believe, of that particular series. And this one is called, you know, how to diversify your income. So what's super exciting about this, uh, this particular one is for the first time since the crisis uh, uh, here recently, I've been able to dedicate some time to my own personal growth and development. And I know that's sad to say, but if you know me, I'm always going to be 100% transparent and honest with you. So because I've been grinding and trying to uh, create content for my followers and uh, give advice to my clients and, and, and whatnot, I've been neglecting my own personal growth and development. Shame on me. But I started getting back to reading uh, or listening to my audio books. And here recently, I picked up a new book. Uh, did a little research and was trying to find, you know, some different uh, uh, reading things, uh, materials out there. And I came upon this book called Entrepreneurial You by Dory Clark. So I'm only a couple of chapters. I'm in three chapters into the book, but it's resonated enough with me, especially during this current pandemic, that I felt the need to share it with you, my friends, my family, uh, our followers. And in the book, uh, and again, I'm only on the third chapter, so I, have, I can't give you a full review of the book, but what I've listened to so far was one of the sessions uh, uh, talking about you know, diversifying your income and creating what's called port a portfolio career. And that just resonated with me, especially uh, in, in respect to kind of what we're dealing with right now with the, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic. So many people were dependent upon one source of income. And now it's coming to bite them in the butt because if that one source of income was eliminated, now you're trying to figure out like, oh my God, you're hoping the stimulus package come in. You're hoping you keep your bills paid. You know, you're hoping, you know, uh, that somebody's going to come and save you and whatnot. And what they spoke about, or what the author spoke about uh, in these early chapters in here is having a portfolio career where you have multiple streams of income. Now, uh, if you've heard me uh, and, and one of my good friends, uh, Shandrita uh, Boykins, talk about this, uh, she says that she doesn't believe in multiple streams of income, but she believes in multiple dimensions of wealth, which uh, is spot on. So though we're talking about how to diversify your income, where a lot of people mess up when they're trying to, you know, quote unquote, create multiple streams of income, or uh, if you will, is they're taking their gift. They're taking what they're, what they're good at. They're taking what brings value to the marketplace. And they're trying to, you know, instead of focusing in on that gift, they're doing 20, 30, 40 different things that aren't aligned with their gift. So when Shandrita first said this to me, said she didn't believe in multiple streams of income, but she believed in multiple dimensions of wealth, it resonated with me. And then as I was listening to this book, it kind of just confirmed, you know, what she has said, you know, saying just a different way. And the reason it resonated with me is because most people know me as a financial advisor. I've been a stockbroker, you know, almost 20 years. And, you know, you always hear people talk about, you know, diversify your portfolio right? Because if you have a diversified portfolio, you may have some things that are going down, but at that same point in time, you have some things that are going up. So you're not solely dependent upon one investment, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, um, uh, to get your total return, right? So think about that for a second with respect to your income. Were you dependent upon one source of income when this hit? Because quite frankly, if you were an investment client of mine and I saw your portfolio and I looked inside of it and I said, wow, you only have one investment. That is a risky, risky, high risk portfolio. And you need to consider diversifying that because if that one uh, investment goes down, you're going to lose everything. It's very similar to when I was uh, um, as an advisor years ago, uh, when the crisis, when the mortgage crisis hit, the credit crisis hit, I had clients who worked at General Motors. 
And unfortunately, they had one lot. Some of them had 100 percent of their 401k invested in General Motors stock. And I would say to them, hey, this is a really high risk portfolio. Um, you don't need to be taking on this much risk because if something happens to that General Motors stock, you're going to lose everything. And what did they tell me? Nah, Perry, I'm good. General Motors been around for forever. I worked here. Uh, I've worked here for 20 years. My dad and mom worked here for 50 years and it's not going anywhere. Well, what happened during that time, uh, during the, uh, the credit crisis, General Motors went bankrupt. What happened to that GM stock? It went to zero. They lost all of their retirement, uh, all of their 401k, and thank goodness they had a pension plan to back them up. But their lifestyle is very different because they did not diversify their portfolio. Well, consider your income a portfolio. Do you have one source or do you have three, four, or five different sources? But those who only have one source, don't you wish now that you know hindsight being 2020 that you had another source of income coming in? But that source of income still needs to stay aligned with what your gift is, right? So uh, uh, look at my business, for example. I give advice to clients, right? I help clients create wealth and financial strategies and help them implement those strategies. Well. How many different ways could I be compensated for that? I could be compensated from, you know, a blog post, a podcast. I could be compensated from live speaking engagements. I could be compensated for mastermind groups. I can be compensated for uh, working one-on-one -on -one with clients. But I'm still doing the same thing. I'm just being compensated different ways, right? So when I heard this in the book, I was like, yo, I got to share this with y'all because, you know, it talked about what happens in a crisis. And the book was written, you know what I'm saying, uh, way before, uh, 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 you know, 2020, but it's so uh, applicable today because how many people wish they had diversified their income? So let's use a case, uh, 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 case study right here. So I think about uh, my wife. My wife has had her own massage therapy business for shoot, close to 20 years as well. And when uh, COVID-19 and the governor came through and said, hey, you know, the state board came through and said, hey, you can no longer give massages. It's actually illegal. And my wife could use her, lose her medical board license if she gave a massage during this time. Well, her income went from having a booming business, you know what I'm saying, for 20 years down to zero. Well, how else can, can we diversify that income? How else should, could that income have been diversified? Well, hindsight being 2020, we got to thinking, as a massage therapist, you're providing a holistic, you know, uh, health remedy, if you will. And granted, her business is hands-on. But what other ways can she provide holistic, you know, uh, uh, health care, you know what I'm saying, to individuals? So she has, you know, a CBD oil line, right? Now, that's another stream of income where that can be handed to somebody still keeping a social distance and whatnot. She has essential oils. That's something that can help individuals while they're sitting at home and, and, and able to get a massage. So you start thinking about it. If you can diversify your income around your gift, that's where the focus needs to be. So if you've only had one source of income when COVID-19 and the, the pandemic hit and your income has now been cut to zero, Take some time to think about how to diversify your income, right? The same way I talk to clients about diversifying their portfolio, because if one stock goes down, you know, hopefully we have a couple few that up. If five go down, hopefully we have uh, five that are going up, but you have to diversify your portfolio. You also need to diversify your income. And you're going to have to probably think outside the box here, right? And this is something nothing, probably not anything that you can flip a switch on, and, and it's like, hey, I'm, I'm going to start making money. But some individuals, if you start to brainstorm, you're going to find out how you can diversify. My, my, I'll use my sister, for example. She has a dog boarding business. Well, because of the pandemic, her dog boarding revenue has gone to zero. But she's also, uh, which is something she's passionate about, is doing uh, these, these games, which I'm still trying to figure out exactly what she does with them. But it went from, hey, this is what I'm passionate about and I'm good at it, to now she, she writes on it. She's now became a published author 
writing games. And then when the 19, COVID-19 hit and we're trying to, you know, scrum and trying to figure out how to diversify, she has now created an online community with hundreds of people. I think the last time we talked, 200 some odd people who are now subscribed to her online gaming community doing exactly what she's always done. So she has now created, you know, income around her where she can sell, uh, she's writing, she's being published, right? You know what I'm saying? May ask to come in and speak and run games. And now she's actually holding these virtual online communities, right? To generate another stream of income. So now she has diversified her income, but stayed in her gift, stayed in her area of expertise. But we had to have a, you know, a, a, a pandemic hit you know, and shit had to hit the fan for us to you know, kind of get out of our own mental block of saying, oh, well, this is how I make money and this is the only way I'm going to do it. And to, hey, what other ways can I get out here and make this paper? So again, y'all, I had to share this with you. I'm not nowhere close to finish with the book, but I'm, I'm back on to my own personal growth and development. That's another uh, value bomb that you can take away is, hey, use this time to get your value, you know what I'm saying, get your personal growth and development. Because you may just need to hear one thing where that light bulb could switch and you're like, oh, that's what I needed to hear. So I had to share this with y'all. Uh, because it falls right in line with what we discuss here on profitology, because it's not just about creating profit uh, uh, monetarily. We want to see you uh, have a prof uh, increased profit and have abundance in your family, in your finances, as well as in your business, because we are all part of one ecosystem. And I want to see you win, because if you win, we win, we all win. So thank you for uh, joining us for this segment of Profitology. I hope you, I hope and pray you found some value in it. And, um, you know, I'm, shoot, I'm laser focused too. You know, I'm in the game with you. I'm not standing on top of the mountain, screaming down at people like, hey, this is how I got here. This is what you need to do. Shit, I'm climbing up, I'm climbing up the mountain with you. You know what I'm saying? I just may be a couple steps in front of you, and I'm just telling you, like, hey, this is what you need to do. Take my hand. Let me pull you along. So let's build together, y'all. Let me see if we have any questions or comments before we get off the call today. Let's pull up here and see what we got. Turn that down. Oh, what's the name of the book? Yep, let me share that with you again. The name of the book is... It's actually called Entrepreneurial You by Dory Clark. Monetize your expertise, create multiple streams, multiple income streams, and thrive. So it's called Entrepreneurial You. Monetize your expertise, create multiple income streams, and thrive. And again, going back to what my sister Sandrita says, you know, everybody, when they think about multiple streams of income, they go from one to the other, like, oh, okay, well, um, I do this for a living, but I'm also doing this over here, and then I'm doing something else completely different than that, and then I'm also over here, and you're spreading, you're, you're spreading yourself thin, and you're not honing into what your gift is. Figure out how to get paid multiple ways on the same gift. Okay, that's what I got for you guys here. Let's see if there's anything else. Anybody else have a comment or question before we leave? Nope, we're good. Okay, great. Okay, everybody. Hey, thanks for joining for me this segment of Profitology. Uh, be sure to go and subscribe to the podcast if you haven't done that already. Profitology with Perry Jeffries III, so that if you even you, if you don't make it live, you can go back and listen. Uh, we're on the 19th episode. We're running with this thing. Just continue to add value. We're going to start bringing more guests on here uh, soon uh, just to give you a, a different voice to listen to and also to share some updates that we have going on. So again, stay profitable, stay blessed. Peace.